Hello everybody, welcome back to part 2 of the 200 subscribers special, and, well we got the thing for the turntable, so I tested it, they're not going to roll anywhere anytime soon, so that's good, and um, I did spitball this a couple weeks ago, about showcasing my entire Tomica collection, and a lot of you guys love the idea, I was going to do it anyway, even if you didn't like it, but, <laughs> but, um, here we have it. So my plan was, we're going to, I uh, went through the whole collection, figured out what car brands I had the most of, and that I would pick the top three and do separate videos for each three, and then all the rest of them I just put in one video. So here's the first of the series which will be Toyota. So I figured out I had the most Toyotas out of any other brand. So, yeah, well, and Lexus counts too. I don't know why they do Lexus, because that's kind of the American division. They don't do any Infinities or, um, I don't know what else they would do. Acura, it's all Honda. So we'll start with the Lexus, there's only two. This is the Lexus, uh, oh, I'm digging this. The Lexus ISFCCSR. Uh, I'm never going to memorize that. <laughs> um, but here we have it. So it looks good on the turntable, actually. And this is on the low setting. Sorry if it's too fast for you guys, but... You know what? I should just... They all... They ha it has suspension and opening doors. So this was an American release, so you could find this one. You might be able to still find it now, but it might be sold out in your area. Air, area. I think there might be one of these floating around at my Walmart still. Um, if anybody wants it, I can pick it up. now. <laughs> well, I could, but if it's still there. But there it is. And then here we have the next Lexus, the RCF, again with opening doors. So we're, we're familiar with these cars, okay? I think they're, they're in the United States, they gotta be. I, just, I see a couple of these uh, running about. But let's get into some cars. Well, actually, no, we can continue with our familiar cars. Yeah, let's just shut the doors on this in case you want to see what it looks like. Clean. This one was also in, in the USA. So you could find this one at Walmart. This was in the second wave, so I don't know if it's still going to be floating around. But you could try to look for it. I do have a couple Japanese exclusives. I just got back into it, like, in November last year. So I don't have many Japanese exclusive, well, Japan exclusive. Well, they're not really exclusive. I just, well, it's overseas exclusive, I should say, that were never available in the U.S. But this is, it was a couple months ago. Like I said, don't know if it's still floating around, but I guess we can continue with um, cars that we're familiar with. Uh, we'll move into the sedans now. With the Toyota Prius. Actually, let's open the trunk on this one. I think I've showed this one before. Check that out. So, it's all wrapped up in Tomica livery. I think this was a USA exclusive, actually. I don't think you could have gotten this one overseas. This was only available at USA Toys R Us's. So... That's a cool one. Now, I don't know. It looks like the... Yeah, I think the turntable's like lagging out my camera. Yeah, that seems a little better. Better not die in the middle of this. But there is the Prius. This is the second generation Prius, I believe. From 2009. Then we got the GR Prius. This one was available in the first wave of Walmart cars. 
It was also available. I, none of the cars that were available in Walmart were exclusive to the USA. They're all were all previously released overseas. But some of the Toys R Us ones were exclusive to Toys R Us in the United States. Uh, the Japanese market could not get them. But this one is available. The GR Prius, kind of silly. But I think it looks a lot better than a normal one because the front end, it's got more of those like aerodynamic headlights. Well, not, well, meaner looking headlights. The standard Prius has those blobby junk, I don't know <laughs> what to call it. But that's that. Now, here is a car that some of you are probably not familiar with. This is the 2005, the year I was born, Toyota Mark X. I do have two of these, actually. One's in the package. We'll get the package stuff in a different episode. But this this is the Mark X. And pretty interesting having lens tail lights. I never see um, any Tomica Basics have lens tail lights. So this was really cool. Yeah, all my other ones have painted tail lights. Which is really interesting that this one somehow got lens tail lights. Most of them, uh, if they have something lens, it's the headlights that are lensed. Or a separate piece. Some of them don't have like clear plastic, but they have like a mirrored plastic. Then we'll shut the doors on that. They're all right hand drive too. All the cars, if you couldn't tell. So this one is only overseas, I believe. This one was never sold in the U.S. Uh, I know it was never sold in the U.S.A. I mean, the only time you're going to find it in the U.S.A. is someone imported it. The real car, too. That The real car was only sold in Japan, I think. Uh, at least the Tomica one had more variety than the real one. Uh, then we got the 2009 Toyota Mark X. So they did two different castings of this. This one was available at Toys R Us. So some of you might have it from then. There was a gray version of this, which was harder to find. I never found it. So I'm definitely trying to track that one down. Um, that would be a cool one to have. So a lot of the Toys R Us exclusives, well actually all of them, that I have here, they are from like my youth, I guess you could say. So they're, they're back from the time when I was playing with them, smashing them, crashing them, so there's going to be some chips. This one didn't fare too bad, I think I kind of liked it, so I kind of, it wasn't the bad guy car. Because yeah, that's how it usually went, you make the cars you don't like the bad guys. So this one's probably just got bin chips on it. I still do like it today. And then next, I know people people have heard of this car, okay? You guys have heard of this. The Toyota Crown. This one is available in the United States, so you've probably seen it. Oh, it's the Crown Athlete. The Toyota Crown Athlete. This one doesn't have opening parts, just suspension. I'm not going to go through and do suspension on every one of the cars, but so far all the cars I've shown have suspension. And now I'm going to emphasize on you should pay close attention with these videos because you might learn something. Um, these car, the, the uh, these Japanese car brands, they make a lot of interesting things that we've never seen in the USA. So some of you guys might learn a thing or two by watching this. So. Pay attention. The Crown is very much a luxury car. So, you know, all Toyotas that are in, like, a lot of the luxurious Toyotas in Japan came to the United States as a Lexus. So we get this as a Lexus in the United States, just with different, like, um, headlight style and grills and the camera doesn't want to focus on it. There we go. And the hot pink, too. I talked... I was talking to this one guy from Japan about the crown, and he's like, yeah, they do come in these weird colors, like mint green and hot pink, so that's very interesting. 
but here, if we keep this one out for a second, I've got this Tomica Jr. right here. So look how small it is. It's a little Tomica Jr. version of the Toyota Crown. Actually, I flipped it the wrong way. So it's got all the same detail, no interior, but it's a darn cute little thing. It, it even has tried to replicate the Tomica wheels. Why isn't this focusing? So it is a little plastic thing, but it's so detailed and so cute. I bought a couple of them on eBay for like, well, two. I bought two on eBay for, I think they were two, three dollars a piece. Which, I mean, not bad. Free shipping, too. Which was, couldn't pass that up. So there, are they together? Now, I usually will put, like, this, these minis, I'll put them on top of the garage, like, as a little signage or something. And this one goes on top of the white garage as it kind of um, fits there. The gray on the white. And then my gray garage, I put a white vehicle there, which I'll show in a different video. Now, let's get into some of the industrial slash emergency slash work vehicles, I guess, uh, from Toyota. So let's get this truck. This is the only Toyota truck that I have. This is the Toyota car transporter. Wow, that's very generic. This is an old, uh, this one was released in the United States, I think, as part of the Pocket Tomica series in like the 70s and 80s. So this one I got secondhand. very cool so a Toyota car carrier very interesting so this thing would have came out probably a little bit past the Toyota Pat age and it's probably got little Corollas on the top there like old Corollas or maybe Celicas because they kind of got the body style of like those old 70s Celicas so they could very much be up there I would love to some, see someone take this and like detail it. So like paint those the windows blacked out on the cars, the wheels black, and then maybe like the tail lights and everything. That would look really cool. But I'm not doing it with mine because it's, it's got sentimental value to me. We'll talk about that at a different time. Um, it's nice ambulances. So yeah, Toyota did make ambulances and I'm part of the Hi Ace platform. So this one came in a a Japanese exclusive um gift box. So I don't know if I did a review on that. Uh there's actually another car in there, I have all the cars represented. So this was the first one I'll show from the gift set. They weren't all Toyota, so you won't see them all in this video. But this is the High Ace Ambulance. And they never did make a normal High Ace. But for some reason, they designed it so they... Well, they did in like, exclusives. They designed it where this top part is plastic. This whole top part is plastic here. And it's actually two separate pieces because you can see that the lights are connected to this piece. So this is clear red that they just painted white to blend in with the top here. And they got opening trunk too. Ow. So, uh, so, well, it's a high ace. It's based on the high ace chassis, but they call it the Hematic. Or He, yeah, Hematic. So, we'll kind of put that there. And then here's another one with a little bit of a different design. This one is the Toys R Us exclusive or the USA exclusive because um, th this one as far as I found in my researches was never sold in Japan they never sold this variant of the high ace in Japan which is very interesting so I figured out that all these cars with Hyper City on the side were all USA exclusives So all the Hyper City cars were only sold in USA, part of the Toys R Us line of Tomica Town. 
So that was pretty cool. I like how they have the little lights on the front grill. Very cool. So there are the high ace ambulances. I do have a stock high ace, which is the second generation. These are the first generation high aces. Uh, let's get into the Costa. So you've seen these if you've seen some of my other videos. The Toyota Coaster, actually. Coaster, not Costa. There is the school bus variant with a little sliding door. So I guess they kind of turn these, the little toko cat, they turn them into like fun things so the kids are more appealed to get on the bus and go to school because they're probably going to be scared. This they call it the kindergarten bus. Uh, it doesn't say that on the base because they, they use this casting a lot. I'll shut the door. Uh, it won't stay shut obviously, it's going to fall a little bit. There, oh, there we go. Nice, shot's nice and flush if you can get it to stay shut. So this one, oh, <laughs> it popped open again. So this one was sold in Japan as well as Toys R Us back in the early 2000s. So, you know, what, what year did this come out? 2004, I think that's the first edition though. This one I think came out in 2008. But I did see red box versions of it show up in Japan. Uh, but this one is a USA release. Not exclusive, though. This one was never sold in the United States, though. This is the Costa... What is this? There's no name. Uh, like the investigation vehicle. They kind of fill it up with, like, either SWAT or police officers to go to crime scenes. They actually use these as roadblocks in Japan. They just stick it in the middle of the road. Like, you ain't getting past that. I filled with troops, so it's got a rack up there to put stuff. I don't know if those are like little sirens or something. Now this door does sh shut flush as it is brand new. And they did a really good job of matching the paint color because the door is plastic and the rest is metal. We know Hot Wheels struggles with that. I guess Tomco does put a little bit more time into their models than Hot Wheels does. As these Tomicas, they retail for $4 in the USA, or in Japan, and $5 in the USA. So, they got a little bit more room to perfect their paint jobs. Or room in their budget. Uh, let's get a fire truck. Yeah, Toyota does do a fire truck. Uh, it's called the Toyota Dyna. Well, it's, it's the chassis. I've seen them use this as delivery trucks and tow trucks. But this one specifically is a fire truck. And this one was from that same gift pack as the um, ambulance. I did put that signage on the side there through Google Translate. I think it said like Tokyo FD or Fire Department or something like that. I don't know exactly. I don't think it was Tokyo Fire Department. It might just said Fire Department or Tokyo FD. Or something like that but it does have a lot of details on it you can see the trim and um, the doors and the ladder light on the back light in the front so pretty nice little Dyna I love these unique like you're not gonna see any other brand do a Toyota Dyna fire truck maybe maybe a tiny Singapore they might do it is it tiny Singapore tiny Hong Kong I don't know that one brand called tiny I forget if it was Tiny Singapore or Tiny Hong Kong. Or maybe there's two. I don't even know. <laughs> but they might do a... Toy they have a Toyota Dyna casting. So you might see one pop up from them at some time. But right now there isn't one. And they're not really 164 either. So this isn't either. It's There's no scale on the base. But it's a little small. I think they... No, they are 6 164, aren't they? No, I think they are a little small too. Bigger than this, so. Uh, now let's get some kind of cars. Some industrial service. Service is a good word. Service cars. So this one. This one got clear tail lights too. I didn't even notice that. I did do a review on this, but it does have clear tail lights. And maybe I noticed that in the review. I don't know. 
But this is a Toyota Crown Taxi. Maybe they use the same tail lights from the Di from the Mark X. I don't know, but Toyota Crown Taxi. Yeah, it's got lens tail lights and plastic headlights. They're uh, reflective plastic or mirrored plastic. I don't know how much I like that, but uh, nice car. I did translate the side. It just says Tomica Taxi. Right there, it says Tomica Taxi. Well. Yeah, okay. Let me try to zoom zoomage on this. On. See, it's not zooming. It's not zooming. You're annoying me. Ah. Alright, so if I cover up those two last symbols there, that says Tomica. We know that on the Tomica packaging. That says Tomica right there. That says taxi. That's taxi right there. So it's got taxi in Japanese, taxi in English, and taxi's back over here. Uh, no. That's not taxi. I think it's... That might be number. I didn't run that through Translate. I probably forgot. That's taxi up there. Tomica Taxi. So it's not licensed. Uh, that's probably number. Number... Or maybe it just says... 1,000... Or 1031 in Japanese. Or maybe it's number 1031. I'm not sure. I didn't run it through Translate, but I can make a guess, can I? Oh, uh, then the little... What is happening? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, and then the little roof sign. So I did do a review on this. I can probably link it at the end. I keep saying I'm going to link stuff, and I forget. And I end up doing it once everybody's watched the video. So, deal with my memory loss, I guess. Um, here is one of my favorite castings. Or one of my favorite models, actually. The the Toyota Crown. That was a crown. What is this one? This is the 2004 Crown. This one is the 2011 Crown. Police car. So I really like the outcome of this. It is very small, though. The scaling is super small. I don't know why they made it so small. But this is a Toyota Crown. Licensed design. It's... Um, forgot where it's from. It's not from Tokyo, actually. Um, I don't know. Anagawa, maybe? No, that wasn't Anagawa. No, that's an island, isn't it? Japan's an island, too, but... Uh, I don't remember. This is from somewhere. There is a city in Japan called Toyota, so... It'd be funny if that was what it was, but I don't, I don't think it was. Toyota Police Department. So, actually, Japan calls their police cars patrol cars. So, so they, this patrol car. And I like how they put this little piece of plastic up here to l elevate the light so you can see it better. Because it looks a little bit better than it just sitting flush on the roof. Number 110. Very nice car. They did a very nice job on this. Well, they do a very nice job and everything. I mean, I don't think there's really a casting that I don't particularly like. But let's get into the, I guess you can say sports cars. We already looked at some with Lexus. This is the only Toyota sports car I have right now. And I guess if you dare to call it a sports car, the Hachiroku. I do, I do have the, actually, there's the Supra. Well, it's in the box. I don't feel like taking it out. I'll show the box cars in a second. Or not now, not not in a second actually. Uh, different video. But here is the initial D Hachiroku. Uh, very nice car. This, it's very nice. Okay, I, I just lost my train of thought. It's did very nice twice. But I do love the thing. They did such a nice job on it. It's all scaled right. Scooch the camera down. It's scaled right and everything, and the Hot Wheel one looks like a clone of it, except it sits a lot lower. Um, with the pop-up headlights and everything. I like how the headlights are popped up. It gives it that front end with the white. Yeah, that's how I look at them. White, orange, yellow. I don't think the initial D one had a black hood, though. Like, the actual... Well, from the first series, actually, I don't think it had a black hood. I don't remember. I have to watch it again. I did watch it like a week ago, but I, for, I did watch it, particularly looking for that hood. 
And I didn't pay attention. I just got so sucked into it. But there's that. Let's move on to minivans. This is the Toyota... Uh... If... If Pizong? I'm, I'm not sure how to say it. It is a beat up... Beater. Beat up beater. I got this for a couple dollars on eBay. I'm gonna restore it or restore it at some point. It, it needs it. Uh, it's gonna look really nice too. I got... I got a good idea. Well, actually, not really an idea. I'm just gonna full-on restore it to make it look like it was. I do have the right colors and everything, so it should go pretty smoothly. Uh, I'm gonna have a problem masking off that back there and possibly painting in the taillights, but I'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It does have an opening trunk, but it is very worn out, so it's not, it's not gonna stay. So I <laughs> See, there, it opens. Trust me. There it goes. Uh, Toyota has, um, Toyota has left the building. <laughs> uh, get a couple more minivans here. This is the first generation Toyota Elfard from 2002. This one I also bought to restore for, it was $5, but this casting in mint condition goes for crazy numbers on eBay. So $5 for this beater. It's not a bad deal in my opinion. <laughs> Um, so this one had a funny story to it. I originally bought this car on eBay, but the guy sent me this one right here, this 09 Crown, or Alphard, this 2009 Toyota Alphard. Let's get them together so you can see the differences. At first I didn't notice it, but then I started like... Wait, I do like the tail lights on the original Alphard. That doesn't look like the ones on this one, and I start noticing, oh, well, it's a different Alphard. It's a 2009. I went on the 2002. So I, I messaged the guy, and I think I've told the story before, but he said, you know what? Nobody was really interested in the 09 anyway, so if you want to keep it, and I'll just send you the other one for free. So that, that was nice of him. He didn't want me to send it back to him in Japan either. He said it was going to be too much money. But now I got two. And I can restore both of them. I need to get like a good pearl white though. Because uh, I don't really have any good white colors. So there they are. Next up. Is the one kind of cargo van that I have, I guess you could say. Cargo van. Uh, this is the second generation Toyota Hi Ace. So I'm just playing back. I did do a review on this one. So yeah, it's just cargo van. I guess you could use it for like a um, business or something, carrying stuff around. Well, it does. It doesn't, have, it doesn't have any seats back there. I guess there would be like two versions with. One with a bunch of seats, like the transit vans in America. Um, like the transit vans, there's some with seats, there's some without seats in the back. So just for like uh, hauling around stuff. So this one would be a good one for like construction companies and everything. So I wonder if they made another variation with seats in the back of it. Because I know they did release it into like a fire department deco. So I don't know if it'd be like a troop carrier or a... Maybe just a haul s supplies around. But staying with this like industrial type vehicle, work, like personal work vehicles, this is the Toyota Town Ace truck. So little K truck. Very nice. I think I did get this one on eBay. Oh, I, I haven't been really telling about the cars. All the ones I've shown recently since. All those service vehicles after the ambulance were foreign exclusives. And everything up to this is a foreign exclusive too. This is also a foreign exclusive. Um, yeah, the High Ace was. That one's not in America. The Hachiroku's not in America. None of the minivans were. Um, here, yeah, so this 
Town Ace. It's pretty cool. It's got lens headlights. It's got the suspension. Yeah. So there's the little Town Ace. And lastly, we're almost done. 30 minute video. And that's just Toyota. Uh, we got three uh, little SUVs, I guess we can look at. I guess you can call them SUVs. This one, I don't really think I should call it an SUV. But this is the Toyota... Um, uh, word name escapes me. This is one of my favorites, too. Ah, uh, uh, look. Probox. God dang it. Probox. So this one is actually an American exclusive. The Japanese Probox had Tomi on the side right there. And that was it. That's the only thing you can differentiate them. So I don't know why this one didn't get Tomi on it. But you can only get the non-Tomi ones in America. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, the Hi8 or the Pro Box. I just love the design of this. I don't know why. I don't know why I like it so much. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know why I love it so much. I just like it a lot. Next, we'll get this crossover SUV. It's a, oh, this one had an opening trunk. It just doesn't stay open. It flaps around. This one stays open. This is the Toyota CHR, I think. Yeah, CHR. This one was released in the USA. It's not exclusive to the USA. You can get it overseas. Uh, pretty interesting vehicle. I've never even, like, paid attention to these things on road. But after I bought this casting, I started seeing them around. Like, oh, so they are in America. And I guess they're popular because I see them everywhere. Now that I know about this car, I see them all around. So, pretty cool casting. So, a lot of these cars, like I've been saying, Tomica is probably the only brand you're going to see them do this car. I mean... I would love for, and Tomica is probably the only brand that does a, a Pro Box seat too. I would love to see like something like um, Mini GT take it and put and do like the Bull Suzuku style with the deep dish rims and the splitters and all that. But I don't know. And the last car, 32 minutes, and we're at the last car finally. Oh, uh, this is the Toyota. Harrier, or Harrier, yeah, interesting name. We get this at the Lexus in the United States uh, as the, for the real car. For the Tomica model, this one was released in uh, Toys R Us. It wasn't exclusive to Toys R Us as it was overseas too. But I do like this casting a lot. Opening trunk, it's not going to stay open. This came in a playset. This was exclusive to a playset, though, with a little mini gas station. So that was interesting. But there you have it. That is all the Tomica Toyotas I have. That was a long one. The rest of, well, the other two won't be that long. Maybe the all the other brands will. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So that is it, guys. Think, wait a minute, what, what is happening here? I put... Oh, never mind, I'll fix that later. Uh, thanks for watching. This video is getting way too long. See you in my next video. Bye.